Gothenburg trams are beautiful. That's why we sent out our best guy to get some footage. Sure, I know what you'll be saying. They squeak and they're two seats next to each other, which you will never use if one is already occupied because we're in Sweden, or so we think. And yeah, because there are two sheets, it makes the walking space quite tight. So it makes it really hard to get off, because there isn't enough space to go out with everyone standing in the way, with only one person sitting by all the double seats. <sighs> and sure, people do tend to go on the Sporvang before anyone manages to squeeze through and get off, which makes you angry. But it's like Beethoven said, beauty in the anger. Just look at those colors, mesmerizing, blue, white. Our pride rolling strong at walking speed in the city center. I'm not saying that the trams are worse are ugly. Nah. In Warsaw, at least you know you're on the right one. I know Warsaw's poor Wagner like the back of my hand, which is not that well, but every time I wake up, I know it's there. But damn, that sound? <laughs> Gosh, from Berg, they just close. So whenever I walk around blindfolded, I always get trapped in the door. I just don't get that experience here. Gothenburg is always different. What a joy. Sometimes they go that way, sometimes they don't. You just don't know and you need to figure it out on your own journey. That is, if you get on the right one. And what is the right one anyway? We think about doing the right thing and being enough. Working hard, but why not work joyfully? Funny you asked. It reminds me of this really funny story of a sailor in Madrid. Uh, he was under a cover, waiting for the bus. <laughs> I know, <laughs> bus. It never came, because they can't tell time there, someone told me. For better understanding on the issue, I went out and asked some questions. Hey. Oh! Thank you.